to the herd is the same. My name is Chantel Johnson, and each show is dedicated to my son, Christopher Johnson, who was the 109 homicide right here in Jackson, Mississippi. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the herd is the same. As you all know, it's TGIF, baby. TGIF, it's the weekend, baby. How y'all doing? How y'all doing? How y'all doing? Even though it's a happy time for most people in this city, you know, with the graduations and stuff that's going on, and I want to give a big shout out to the moms, the guardians of these kids. That's actually, hey, I've been seeing y'all up and down my timeline. I've been seeing y'all on Instagram. I've been seeing y'all on everything. You all have really showed up and showed out for these graduations. So, good job, my Mom and dad and guardians. I see you all. Um, I think about when my turn coming up for this great grandbaby. You know, years to come, I'm going to be so extra. He landed and pull up in a damn Lamborghini, a Lamborghini limo. Ain't no telling. Ain't no telling how I'm going to do it. But it will be outside of the box. And, of course, I will be driving because I don't trust nobody else driving but my own. So, as you all know on this show, first things first, we're going to talk about these homicides. You know why? Because nobody else is talking about them. My heart goes out to the families that has been forced on this side. You know, I see it up and down my timeline, a couple families. I know a couple of them I do not know, but I also want to let you know, it, you are not alone at all. You know, um, with over 600 homicides going on in this State alone, just in Jackson, in this city alone, I mean, because we don't want to count statewide because it's treacherous all over, you know, and in a, especially in these little small country towns that I done seen, you know, where spike and homicide has spiked so high to where I don't even see, I don't even see how they get back with the small town population that they have in their city. But here in Jackson, I just want to let you know it has been over 600 homicides since 2019. And families are still being forced on this side. I get phone calls from mothers and family members all the time about these homicides. And I just want to let you all know. You all don't know the hurt that you cause to the aunties, the siblings, the grandmothers, the first cousins. It affects everybody that's in their family, not including the community, because a senseless, a senseless loss, half of it don't even have to happen, like literally. And to the innocent bystanders that stand around and do all of this foolishness, as I told you, I cannot get over and I can't grasp the gossiping and snitching at the same time. But you separate them and they are not the same, but they put together the whole time. You know, and I'm gonna give you a prime example. It's been fooling around Jackson that our chief of police was gonna step down and was gonna retire. Well, today, it was official. Well, guess what? They told it with the snitching and the gossiping. That's the example that I'm telling you all when I say that you all will snitch and gossip at the same time and then say that it's not snitching. So we're going to jump right on in. I'm going to encourage any family member or anyone that's in the community, if you have anything to say, if you want to come on this platform, call me at 770-866-3683. As you know, my number is public. If you want to have your own show on this platform, call Mr. Garrett. If your money is green, I promise you he will take it. I also want to encourage you all to get with this coffin. You know, all the other coffee gonna make you around here shaking. This one right here will make you bounce and dance. It's a big difference. Smooth. Um, I think sometimes when I drink it, I don't even use cream. That's the original taste of it. You don't, and I'm a cream person. So I just want to let you all know that. If you know a family member who has lost a child, or you know someone whose parents are deceased and the siblings are still living and they would like to stand in the gap for their sibling that they had lost to gun violence, please tell them to get in contact with Ms. Felicia Marshall with Grant Me Justice. It is very, very important that you do not get us mixed up with them poor profit models. 
We do not want your money. We not going to take your money and put your loved one on no billboard and then run off and start doing skits. We not going to do none of that. We going to love on you. You're going to have a forever family where you can be able to pick up the phone and when family members and loved ones do not understand your, dis your different emotions, we will. And I want to let you know that it is the foundation is Christ of this organization. It is never, it never was about a whole lot of people. We're going to serve the families one at a time. It never was about a profit off these families. And um, the lady that started this organization, she actually lost her daughter to a homicide. So it ain't like someone that's working with us that don't know how we feel. I'm talking about from the time when you get that phone call and you have to relearn who yourself is. At the time when you got family members and friends and everybody that claim to love you that's causing pain on you, why you are numb. And thank God for that. Uh, thank God that he cover us during that time because we can't even feel the other pain because the main pain is so hurtful. Uh, I want to encourage you all to call 355 TIPS about any of these homicides because as I said, the hood can solve all the hood problems because they cost them. When these homicides happen, you know it's normally, it's the hot trending for this one, that week. The next one for this week. You know, I hear folks come up to me now and tell me, Chantel, this a video of what happened to your son. I say, well, hell, what are they waiting on to upload it? They say, well, one of your closest friends that was up around you actually had it on their page. We, I thought you knew. So it's a lot of stuff that goes on that we don't even pay attention to. And we have people up around us who don't mean us no good at the time that we suffer the loss where they think that they're causing pain on us, but we are numb during that period. You know, um, just the small things or how you have to go up two sizes for clothing for a body. You know, how you have to still do socks and drawers and take it to the funeral home. So it's a lot of small things that go into preparing for a home going. I also want to encourage these families. If you're not the strongest person in the family when this come about, let somebody who is strong enough handle it. Because I do not want you to forget one thing. These funeral homes are business. They are a business that's in the means of making money. And I also want to remind you that there are no white funeral homes in Jackson. So when, you know, when, when this come to your door, check some of the funeral homes for the white people because guess what? They do the same identical thing. Compare the prices and you all will see who has their feet on your neck here in Jackson. And I also want to remind you, the people that don't look like us, that work up there at that AG's office that's processing those victim violent crime packages, only thing they do is mail checks out. Who getting the checks? I also want to encourage the families to be mindful of the funeral homes that you pick because a lot of these funeral homes are not taking the victim violent crime packages. They want their money up front. And when you send your loved one over there and you don't have the money, let me tell you what they want. They want the money for transporting your loved one. And they want the money for embalming your loved one which is going to come up to over $4,500 or at least $4,500 minimum. So just know these things when that crime lab call you. You know, make use of your time while the crime lab have your loved one. Make sure you do the homework. Make sure you got somebody in the family that can handle a business with this stuff and not prey on someone who has suffered a loss, especially a mother. You know, or a guardian, or whoever is responsible. When they call you all for that four digit on your social security number, you know, once you pick a friend around, the first thing they want to know, what is 
the last four digits of your social. And that is for them to embalm that body. So whoever going to be in charge with passing over that last four digits of your social security number, you are responsible for those services. I also want to encourage you all, when you all are out here planning these funerals, make sure you're not putting your loved one, especially these homicide victims, because I'm a firm believer that you never know what may happen or what the future may hold. Look at Meg Elvis. They came back and dug him up 30 years later. You know, because you never know what way these cases is going to go. And you have to remember that these people are human and they make mistakes too. So make sure you be mindful and not to put your loved one down in that plastic. Because that plastic liner. Because that plastic liner is, I know, right at $1,400. And my mind served me right. For a couple of more hundred dollars, you can put a vote. <clears throat> Me, myself, I don't believe in putting nobody in the ground without a vault. Because as my granny used to say, the casket can cost $2. You spend the money on the vault. Because as I say, you know, I see you all putting on for the living. And ain't nothing wrong with it to each his own. But be mindful that the vault is for the deceased. The birds, the carriage, the insert. The fancy cars, all of that is for the living. Just know that. When, when you do those things, and I make it down there to that graveyard, and you got two horses, and you got the birds, and you got all of this for the living, and I get down there to that graveyard, and I see that plastic liner, I know you all have y'all priorities messed up, and you putting on for the city. And it has nothing to do with the deceased in my eyes. Same thing with these obituaries. Let me remind you all, the obituary is like the eulogy. It's for the deceased. It's not for everybody to put all of their stuff in there. I'm like my granny. Everybody going to get a turn. You don't have to rush it. And I also want to be mindful of these families, you know, when y'all go out and spend this money on these t-shirts and dress them alike and these all... These fancy flowers with people's names on it and this here and that, that. Just know, if you owe that funeral home and y'all show up like that, who the hell raised y'all? You mean to tell me you that crazy to go to somebody's funeral and order a t-shirt and knowing that the family Still owe the funeral home? That's what I'm saying. You all do too much for the living and ignore the dead. But everybody say they love the, the dead. Just as well as you know who killed this man child. Or you know who killed this lady child. You supposed to be an adult, supposed to be an upstanding citizen. But you will try to twist the story. Or try to twist it this way and twist it that way, or either come up with an excuse or everything, or not to tell the family, but you'll tell everybody else. And the people who you tell go right back and tell the family what you said. Then when they tell somebody to come talk to you, trying to get closure and trying to get you to do what's right, then you don't know nothing. But hang up the phone. No soon they leave and say, good, uh, man, don't you know, a detective came and talked to me about such, 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 such. I just told him I didn't know nothing. And then go right on and tell what you know. Mm -hmm. It's the mindset of, my, of our people and the courts. Let me talk to you all. Please let me talk to you all. You have people out here who have suffered a loss, especially a homicide, where it gets to the end. You have families out here that's relying on you all to do the right thing. And when you all do not do the right thing, to me, you are part of the problem. Because now you are pushing a mother and a family against the wall. Who are upstanding citizens. 
these low buns on homicide. City Councilman, can y'all vote for a fire squad to come back? It need to be somewhere since we in Mississippi. When you take a life, the family ought to be able, when they found guilty, the family, it need to be automatic kill. I for and I. Need to be able to make an example out of these people because now they around here playing Grand Theft Autos on our streets. And you know who bought the games for? Them damn Jezebel descendants. Them damn Con Bucket descendants. That's worried about they selves. And now in show, when you were letting your child drop out in the seventh grade, eighth grade, ninth grade, tenth grade, never graduating, baby, pain sagging for the boys, toting pistols. Now you done graduated to assault rifles. I'm going to tell y'all again, majority of these people that's causing these problems is not paying no bills. They laying up in these people's houses. Give mama a pill. She strung out on large tabs. She like syrup. She like weed. He like a wet stick. Give everybody what they want, and the children is the boss. And to now, you got mothers bound down to the children. Like they the guardian. They listening to the crash out son or daughter. And they ain't even making good decisions of their, about their own lives. But just because they got a little drug money, they make them the man. They make them the uncle or the auntie to look up to. Really? Really? Y'all done got to the point where y'all glorify hurt and pain like it's a sense of normalcy. Oh, uh... It don't make a difference. She 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 got somebody else. Uh, he got somebody else. Then y'all around him passing out like government cheese. And again, you get to the point like over there in China. If you'd have been on the system with more than two children, the third, the fourth, the fifth, the sixth shouldn't even be added. It shouldn't even be added. It shouldn't even qualify. You supposed to be came up after that, baby. Then you picking the same kind of baby daddies. This one ain't had no job. This one ain't put in for enough for Social Security. The second baby daddy, the same thing. Baby mamas. You dating this baby mama, she'll wear it for every sip. And then you go out and get another baby mama, and she'll wear it for every sip. Really? But right here, y'all act like ain't nobody on no public assistance. Everybody balling. Everybody got money. So let's cut out a lot of this foolishness. Because I know for a fact don't nobody want to work. Hey, people call me all the time about looking for people to work. And if they do start working, by the time they get the income tax, they to quit. They think they're going to work forever. But I'm going to tell y'all something. That's what's going on. A lot of y'all folks got that unemployment money. Let me tell you something. Them folks come back getting their money now. I know a lot of people who done called me and said, Red, they took me income tax, they got to share my check, they doing this, they doing that. And actually, guess what? They was entitled to it. But they suffering with the ones who wasn't entitled to it, so they just have to pay it back. I talked to an Iranian today. Well, that's what I call them, Iranian, because they the Iranian Jews to me. He actually worked all around. He work in Madison, he work in Clinton, he, but he done been all around all the hoods in Jackson. So I seen him today and I asked him, hey, you must not be over there on such, such, such no more. He said, oh no, I been over there. He said, I have been over there four years. Everybody broke. Everybody come to the store, sit around, beg, beg, beg. They beg on the outside, beg on the inside. I said, but I thought you liked it over there. No, 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 no. Sold the store. Man asked me, did I want to stay? I said, no. I said, oh, I see you over here with my people now. He was like, yeah, money over here. So majority of the neighborhoods that y'all right here talking about is some money. Let me tell you something. Iranians telling on you. They telling on you, baby. And they ain't biting their tongue. Hell, they don't even want to come there. Like literally, boys in the household, 
Y'all please teach these boys that nigga they kill. Excuse my language. Y'all please teach these girls that if they gonna do something, it's they thing they can do what they wanna do. But keep them babies where they at. Then y'all sit around here and glorify babies when your mama or your granny is taking care of your grandchild. Like literally, this lady been raising kids for the last 50 years. Then everybody sit around and brag on her money. Oh, I ain't gotta do nothing. My mama got me and you over 40. Hell, your mama got you your daughter, and every guy dog on by them. When is somebody gonna get her? And not including these generation curses. Y'all around here hiding, knowing damn well that your AT child belong to your daddy, and he fumbling with all half of y'all. That's why you around here messed up. Yeah, you used to go up there and get you a little money from him. Knowing he was your granddaddy touching on you. But it's supposed to be a sense of norms. When we grew up in the hood and everybody over there told her, especially my granny, don't you go over there because your daddy will kill him. And broad daylight and stay there till they come. But it's the generation curses and the gossip and the mess that fear the killings right here in Jackson. Like literally. It ain't domestic violence through a couple. It's domestic violence through the dusty feet welfare sluts. Who half of these children ain't got a damn chance with these whores. And I'm just going to tell you the truth. Because I see it. Half of these children. See, when they was forcing that stuff back in 93 on the children talking about ADHD. See, now these children now is really ADHD. They really chemically imbalanced. Forget the crack babies. Alcoholism. Marijuana. Prescription drugs. They is worse than anything. You got pregnant women smoke, you got pregnant women smoking and bombing flu. Now you tell me it ain't bad. They popping law tabs every damn day, so when they have contraction, it morphine, the law ain't nothing doing enough for them. It used to be these children come up with something in their system, y'all investigate them and lock them up. But with somebody called DHS on a mother that's trying, you run over them. But for the ones who ain't doing nothing, and you ain't got to do number two, everybody that work at that welfare house start checking the attendance row of the children that's in school along with the shot records and stuff, and you will see that they not doing nothing. You will see why they ain't graduating. You will see what's going on. The proof is right there in the pudding. So I'm encouraging you to call in 1-800-492-5186 and we're going to go to a commercial. Looking for the hottest content in the city of Jackson and surrounding areas? Check out WeBelieveDigital.com. Also, follow us on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube. We Believe Digital Podcast is here for all your podcasting needs. Have you had your Earthblend coffee today? At Earthblend Coffee, we take pride in offering you the very best of beans across the world. Blended and roasted to perfection. Giving you superior quality and satisfying and flavorful taste. Experience the world in one cup with Earthblend Coffee. To order, visit earthblendcoffee.co now. Do you have something to say? Do you want your voice heard? Join the We Believe Dot Global lineup. Be the star of your own show. For more info, call 800-492-5186, option number one, or visit online at webelieve.global. And you know, for all these folks that want to be shoot 'em uppers and all of this, why don't you go join the arm? Stop smoking that weed and go join the arm and get paid for it. 
Go to the job court. Y'all letting these children drop out now. You won't even send them to job court and get a trade. You won't do nothing. You bow down as a parent. Cause you acting like a uh, you acting like worse than the child. Till the child have to call and say, uh, don't do that. They telling the parent don't do that. Have you ever seen the, the day or the time of that? Have you ever seen the day or the time when you can't rely on nothing or nobody? Not I am my brother's keeper or I am my sister keeper. Hell, you got sisters and brothers causing pain on each other. Aunties and uncles. These folk, let me tell you something. It got to the point now, you remember when the old folks said, these folks will sell their mammy's ass for a dollar bill. Mm. Is it, it, and that's true. But now, they ain't got to sell their mammy's ass because she's selling it herself for pennies on the dollar. For a pair of tennis shoes. And ride around the smoke blunts, it's pitiful. But I tell you what, or if not, go join a JPD. They need 30 employees across the board. You fit to have a new chief, and I want to collaborate on that for a minute. Chief Davis, I want to thank you. Me, personally, I want to thank you for your service. I know a lot of stuff your hands was tied. I know a lot of stuff you couldn't do by yourself. But I also want to applaud you for being man enough to step down out this foolishness. Because that's exactly what it is. Foolishness. Everybody that's out here running for these elections, to, if y'all don't go with the least person whose name you ain't never seen before, you keep doing the same thing, you're going to get the same results. That I can promise you. Keep electing this, these same people. And you're going to keep watching. Fondra, Bear Haven, Eastover, Northeast Jackson, Clinton, Madison, Pearl, Flowood. You're going to keep watching all of them prosper while Jackson drop. But I got, I got faith in it. I got faith in it, and I know that Jackson is a motherland, and I know they is not fit to let y'all continue to take Jackson down to hell. Like you have done in the last 27 to 20 to 30 years. Because I'm going to tell you again, when you start coloring, you don't start in the middle. You start on the outskirt. You leave the middle for last. So, y'all ain't do nothing with it but tear it down. All black leadership. So guess what? I've been talking to some people that look like me and all over. And you know what I've been hearing? Red, we be glad when them white folks come back. Yeah, that's what they say. We need them to get our feet off our neck and the other brown people that look like us to get their feet off our neck. Like the hotels. You closing down the big hotels, but you keeping the, <coughs> excuse me, you keeping the hour hotels knowing we have a human trafficking problem here in Jackson. You got mothers that's losing their daughters to human trafficking. Nobody is saying nothing. Them hotels don't give back a pencil to the community. But you shut down the ones that's 24 hours, but you keeping the ones where you can go in there and get bed bugs and crabs for $12. You keeping them. And they ain't nowhere else around here. You can't find them in Clinton. You can't find them in Raymond. You can't find them in Madison. You can't find them in Flowood. You can't find them nowhere in a nine to 25 miles, the 30 mile rate here in Jackson. You know where they come to operate at? Right here. And I wonder why. I wonder why nobody in our leadership says anything about those. Hey, what them boys at that stay suited and booted? What them boys at that kick down doors for the citizens? They call in and say, I'm sick of this activity over here. They over here 2, 3 o'clock in the morning swinging this door. I'm here in car horns and everything. Where y'all at? We need y'all back kicking in doors. Citizens, we need you all.
to get involved because the police can't do nothing without y'all snitching gossip and sell. Because I'm going to tell you again, you snitching anyway. You may well call 355 tips and get a bag. Because the person who you tell, they go right on the tape that you said. I want to let you know that. And, and, and let me tell you something. You know the folks that sit outside the store to ask you for the change? And the wine knows that you look over? Let me tell y'all something. Everything that go in the hood, they know about it. Every shooting, everything that go on in the hood. You, but one thing about them, they honest. They tell it. They tell it. So I just want to let you know, with Jason being on fire, you all really don't have no secrets. Not at all. You really do not have any secrets at all. So I'm going to encourage you to do the right thing and make sure you get some closure to these families. Because some people got some people in their family they got the mentality, excuse my language, fuck how it turn out. Because I'm going to tell you again, you show the community how a killer can walk free. You show them what lawyer to go high to help them go free. And an innocent man was killed in cold blood and you let him walk for a dollar bill or what they can pay. So I want to let the the victims know, after you get someone in jail, make sure you go download that paper off the AG's office. See, it's a lot of things that come with that victim violent crime package, but the people that look like me that's losing their kids, you all do not take advantage over nothing but the part that helped you for the funeral. You still have counseling there on there. You have traveling expenses that you could be reimbursed. And it's also a paper that's on their website rights you have to request your rights as a victim to make sure the district attorney the arresting agency and everybody that's playing a role in that case keep you up to date you know a lot of y'all say I can't get through with JPD I've been calling I've been calling I've been going down I've been, and me myself same thing but I want to encourage you, if your loved one got killed on these Jason streets, ain't no way around them, baby. Ain't no way around them. So if you can't beat them, you better join them and help them if you want your case side. Because as I told y'all, standing in front of the police department the day after I lost my boy, spiritually, oh, I'm good. I always have been. I was raised right. I raised him right. I gave him back to God. At the time, I supposed to be gave him back to him. And I know he was the first one to lose a child. So if don't nobody else know how I feel, he do. So with that being said, I hold on to that. But on the worldly side, oh yeah, they gonna pay. And I'm encouraging the prosecutors, stop doing these damn plea bargains. Us families want to take it to trial. These people live a lifestyle like they got money. Let's see. Because when you take a plea, you don't know nothing. And if the judges stop suspending anything, whatever you give them, give it to them. Stop suspending these time, this time and make it look good. And I'm encouraged the victim's family. When you get someone in jail, try not to make sure the state do a plea. Make them go to trial so you can know the cause and the reason for your child or your loved one dying. Because the only way you're going to know that if you take it to trial. And you know the way y'all seen that song, Mr. B, taking the trial. What the hell you taking some pleas for anyway? You got it. Strike it up. Big bank, take little bank. You know, everybody around here got money. Every damn case should go to trial. It shouldn't be damn plea. I don't care what it costs. And I'm also going to encourage the families. After these people get convicted for killing your loved one, 
Start a civil trial on. I don't care if they ain't got a pot to piss in or one to throw it out. When they get 80 years old, if they got to give you a penny a year, put it on the books that they owe you. If it was one that was married, go after their spouse. Great old state of Mississippi. Go after their spouse. And that is what's going to change the mindset around here of these people. And you know what it's called? Accountability. Accountability. Because I said a long time ago, if they made me in charge, I'd give everybody a gun. Hell, all y'all got it anyway. Everything else is weighed on your pocketbook and what you can afford and what you can't afford. I start, oh, the NRA, whatever the name of them is, oh, they'll love me. Because in the state of Mississippi, you have to have $2,500 or better to buy some books. You, if you ain't got $2,500 or better, you can't buy no damn books. So before you pull that trigger, we gonna see that you got enough money to replace them bullets. Is you gonna use them wisely or unwisely? Cause that's $2,500 a pop. They'll start using rock salt then. They'll go back to slingshots and stuff then. Or better yet, you'll go back to squaring up and, and stop being scared to take a head with screaming language. Citizens. If you see these people around here with these switches on these guns, that is a felony. You want to see them not see the light of day again? Let them get caught with it. Y'all the only one that see it. It's a number you can call. I'm a seeking I get it. I supposed to be got it before I came on tonight, but I will make sure that I get it. And it's going to ring straight to a call log to some retirees that's going to suit them up and boot it like Frank did. Literally. If these people got arrest warrants, we need the list. JPD, get out here and start flushing them out. That misdemeanor jail down there, let's fill it up. Pay a state. Ain't no community service. Ain't none of that. Pay a state. You know why? Because everybody got money. Ain't nobody broke around right here but me. Everybody else, y'all got a whole lot of everything. Everybody got money. Hell, anytime y'all got Rim sitting in an apartment, BMW sitting in an apartment, Lexus sitting in an apartment, shit, take Tesla sitting in an apartments in the hood. Yeah, you got it. You got it. The people in the apartments here, they think they in a 4,000. 4,600 square feet out. <laughs> That's their mindset. They going through the closet with nine brand tennis shoes and everything, two income, and no barrier insurance. No life insurance. Children living worse than them. You ain't even got something up to get your seed and make it better. You know why? Because you was a cum bucket in the Jezebel. Only thing that got you by is being slimy and, and hunching like a rabbit. That's why some of y'all is together. Folks went to touch y'all with a tennis pole. Hell, y'all a million miles together. You got a million miles. She got a million miles. He got a million miles. Side piece got a million miles. Baby mama got a million miles. Hell, all y'all need some casses. It need to be a doctor around right here that's able to put cast on the penis and the cast on the vagina. Literally. The same way y'all lining up to get your body did, you need to be lining up over there to get the padlock. But first go get a pass mirror because you ain't had one of them in 20 years. It's just sad. It is just sad. But you run up on families that's down with accountability, family values, family morals, and not down with all them generation secrets. Because I'm going to tell you again, black folks hold the most family secrets than you ever want to know. Ever want to know. But see, Granny had sitting up to get that bad seed out of her circle so it wouldn't ruin her whole bunch. That's why when you grow it up, you realize this Uncle, Uncle Donal was raised by this one over here, and A.T. was raised by this one over here, but wasn't raised up with y'all. I ain't cut from that cloth. My granny had all ten of her, 
And the other one did too. Everybody stayed right there together and get no battle away. So a lot of y'all, the demons have been manifesting to where I can understand why the children messed up. Because ain't nobody tried to break the generation curses. And I'm going to encourage you to call in 1-800-492-5186. And I'm going to give you the best advice about Chantel, Snake, Dirty Red, and Little Bit. Please don't let me hold free rent in your head. You know, I hear everything, you know, people call and tell me all this little stuff. And you know what? I don't do no more laugh because I be with the people that don't look like me. Monday through Friday. And we sit back and we laugh and we cuckoo and we ha ha. And then we turn around and pray for you. Because we know exactly how messed up you is. So the last thing you can do is hide behind my name. Because let me tell you something. This mouth for the South, what I say one time, I can say it again, 10 told down, baby. That's one reason why I say I don't like texting. I don't like none of that. You know why? Because it's cowardly for people who can talk. Y'all that took the deaf folk stuff and just ran with it. I see people on these platforms in these groups. Y'all got a lot to say. But I don't see you at no city hall meetings. I see you that y'all have suffered a loss, and at that time, boy, you get on there, the hood talking about, oh, that's so-and-so, so-and-so, huh, son. He gonna do this, she gonna do this. You ain't gonna do nothing. You ain't got no damn lawyer, you ain't got no bond money, you ain't got nothing. Your mama and them ain't got no damn collateral, ain't nobody got no bidding to put up for you, ain't nobody even got greater house to put up for you, cause you lost that one a long time ago. You lost the foundation that she put down for the family. Now how the hell you gonna lose 60 years or something that somebody to pay for? Fuck you. I don't think you had to do it. Keep it up. So when I hear that stuff, I just laugh at y'all. That's why when I got on that news on top of that, in front of that police station and said what I said, y'all looked at me like I was crazy. But here it is going into a year and you see these results dropping. Yeah. Cause see one thing about it, and two things for so for sure, my word is my bond. When your word ain't nothing, you ain't nothing. I'm a firm believer of that. But like I said, y'all gossiping in your snitch. <laughs> Baby, let me tell you something. It don't even be no surprise. That's why I'm blessed with four of these folks up here. Boy, we let me tell you something, I need a damn Oscar. Because I got four different representatives. And boy, we can play the role however we need to to get the data that we need. And I'm encouraged the families. When you out trying to seek justice for your loved one, get everybody out your way. Get everybody out your way that don't mean you no good. I don't care if they been there 20 years, 30 years, 5 years, 4 years, or an hour. Get them out your way. And I promise you, that man upstairs gonna move mountains for you because I'm gonna tell you again, these humans is not in control. He got the whole world in his hands. And for us in my situation, touch not that of my anointing. Because I'm talking about, it used to take calm a long time to come around. Now you do this. You blink your eye, it's right back on you, baby. So you better be mindful of what you do, because I'm here to tell you as a living witness, everybody that crossed me, I have watched them go through some type of pain and they buckling. They buckling. Literally. And you know what I do? I pray for them even harder. I laugh. I ain't going to tell you no lie. I laugh and look to the sky and say, boy, you bad. You bad. It ain't fun when the rabbit got the gun. And it ain't fun when the tables turn. So I'm just telling y'all, that's why you got to be mindful of how you treat people. And especially God's people. When you put this right here, because I'm going to tell you again, I know y'all put a lot of stuff in your mouth, but it ain't what goes in your mouth, it's what comes out. So when you put your mouth on somebody and they have suffered a loss. 
and you think what you saying carries some weight, it don't. It really don't. They don't even feel it. They don't even care about you saying it. But after God had bring them through that, because I'm going to tell you again, we all going to suffer. It's who going to suffer gracefully. And when it get to be your turn, you think about all them slimy moves that you did to touch not that of my anointing. And you can go buy your new cars, you can go buy your new house, you can get you a new woman, you can get you a new man, you can get you a he, she, you do, she, he, you do whatever you want to do. But I'm going to tell you again at the end of the day, the hurt is the same. But when a mother lose a child or sisters and brothers lose a brother or sister and their mom and dad is not here, Whatever pain you throw on them, it's not even penetrating them. So I'm going to encourage you all to stop that. And next Wednesday, get your duck center up. Make sure you call in 1-800-492-5186. And as I said, you know the update on my son's case. Woo, woo, they indicted. Baby that's down for her man, uh, you already know you got that little young paperwork too, sister. You can change your hair, it's fine too, but everybody know who you is. And you ain't no secret, sister. Cause hey, ain't nothing changed. It's always a woman that's, that got something to do with every homicide around here. I ain't gonna tell y'all that enough. We know what the boys and the men's doing around here. They around here shooting each other up. But you know who can solve all of them? The women, the women, they know everything. Oh yeah, they know, I'll offer them some money. Offer them some money, or let them get mad. They gonna tell it every time. Know that, they gonna tell it every time. So, I'm encourage you again, telling the truth ain't snitching. 355 tips, Still work. But for my son case, y'all go upload that video. Hell, I've been waiting on it going on a year and a half. What y'all waiting on? Y'all upload everybody else's video. Why y'all want to upload mine? You ain't scared, but I'm scared. So upload. Matter of fact, I'll pay to upload. Um, somebody call 770-866-3683 and give me your price. Because I got it, but I want to see who else got it. <laughs> yeah, because I'm tired of streets telling me that y'all got it. Because, hell, I've been waiting on you to upload since September 23rd, 2021, like y'all do everybody else. Where y'all was at that was going live? Where y'all was at? What made mine different? Huh? What made mine different? That's what I want to see, and I'm going to pay for it. Show them pay for it. I want anybody got sell your phone footage out there. Call me, I'm going to buy it off. Put a price on this, all you got to do. I'm going to tell you again, it ain't tricking when you got it. And unfortunately, those that really know, hey, baby, I got a head start. My mama picked the right baby daddy for me. So, you want a comma? You, 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 you want that number with one comma or three commas? Which one? It don't make a difference. Hell, I'm going to give you free will to pick. But as you know, two down, two to go. The two that's in jail, as I told you, uh, boy, y'all at quick. I, I know y'all watching the show. How the hell you get rid of that damn city phone before I got them back there to you? Boy, you get smart. You get smart on me. But that's all right. I got you. Because I'm going to tell you again, the people that don't look like me, he on. <laughs> so you better be careful now. You better be careful. The other two, can y'all sit down somewhere? Cause this is a cat and mouse damn game. Can you sit down, just be still one second, and we gonna help you, okay? Just, just be still one second, and I promise you, cause you already know I'm like a bloodhound on a, on a pack of uh, uh, meat, baby. Like a saber tooth tiger, let me say that. I'm like a saber tooth tiger on, a, on some meat, on a meat trail. Yeah, so, and that's in real life. So I'm gonna encourage you, please, 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 give these families 
some closure because it is some mothers that's out here hurting, baby. It is some sisters and brothers that's out here hurting. And I'm encouraged the mothers. Every mother know their child. When a sibling loses a sister or a brother, that's a big deal. So parents, if you know your child and your child can't handle it, and you got one that ain't scared but scary, send them to the military. Let them get trained. Let them get trained. And Uncle Sam gonna give them exactly what they want. And get them prepared. Cause I'm gonna tell you what, all, what, a general, what a retired general told me the other day. He said, Chantel, some people just don't deserve to breathe this air. That's why we have laws in places for jails and stuff. Some humans are just right to the core. And he's right. He is absolutely right. Much of society don't want to believe it. Some of these people are just right souls. They cannot be rehabilitated. Because that's all they know. And they have glorified poverty and hood ways and killings as something that's an everyday basis. So, on tonight's show, I'm going to leave you with that. But what I really want you to tell a friend to tell a friend is, touch not that of my anointed. And get the bag. Stop gossiping for free. Stop snitching for free. Call 355 tips. Because if the money were good, then it's good now. Hell on my end, it's the double. Just because I wanted to. Why not? Please get in contact with Miss Felicia Marsh if you know someone who has lost a child. And you know, um, when I get these phone calls about these homicides from these mothers, it bothers me. It, it, it really bothers me. When I see families making slimy moves against <laughs> siblings and, and loved ones and mothers for a dollar bill or for a house or for a car, or for a trailer or for an apartment, for materialistic things, just know you can't take it with you neither. The same people that you slamming it out of that's dead, just know you gonna leave it too. You will leave it too. And at the end of the day, you know what to do every single day when it come to me. Say his name. Christopher.